A girl's wedding day is something she has fantasized since she was a little girl. Every girl has their own vision of how their special day would be. This is the one day that all eyes will be on you. This bridal look is inspired by fairies and fantasy because a girl's wedding day should be nothing but magical. To start off, I am going to take my professional facial primer and I'm going to apply all over my face. Then I'm going to take this flat foundation brush and apply my matte velvet foundation. Next, I'm going to use this MAC pencil brush and stud and using hair strokes to shade in my brows. Taking this angle brush, we're going to blend it in for a more natural look. For the front of my eyebrows, I am using the hair stroke technique so it can blend it out real nicely and not be too dark in the front for a more faded out look. Now, moving on to the eyes. Let's curl our lashes first, and then using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, we're going to prime our whole eyelid. Don't forget to put some on the bottom of your waterline. Taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply Nocturnal on the crease of my eyelids. Using a thick flat shader brush, I'm going to apply Parfait Amour by MAC all over my eyelids. This is a gorgeous shimmery purple color. I wanted a more shimmery purple color so I'm taking that flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going into my Coastal Scents eyeshadow palette and just dipping into this more shimmery light purple color and packing it onto my eyelids again. Always blend after each color. With a pencil brush I am applying the same color on my bottom waterline. This is the one day you want to make sure to apply waterproof liquid liner. It's an emotional day, so we want to make sure everything stays intact. I am also applying waterproof eyeliner on my waterline. This one is by Marc Jacobs and it glides on so smoothly and it does not budge. I love this eyeliner. Now I want to define my crease so I'm using a pencil brush and taking Sketch by MAC and creating a crease line above my natural line just to make my eyes look a little bit larger. I am taking that pencil brush again and going into my Coastal Sense palette and going to a deeper purple and going over that sketch just to deepen it a little bit more.
taking the flat eyeshadow brush, we're going to go in Lotus Land by MAC and applying it in the middle of my eyelid space to give it that pop of shimmer. Taking a concealer brush, I'm going to conceal underneath my eyebrows just to clean up this look and make it more highlighted around this area. With the same concealer, I'm going to go underneath my eyes and conceal my under eye circles. I'm creating a triangle effect just to highlight this area. Taking a larger flat brush, I'm going to blend everything in. I am applying Ardell's 122 False Lashes. I like to go over my eyes one more time with eyeliner just to cover up any glue that may be showing from the lash glue. Apply several coats of waterproof mascara. I went ahead and applied powder all over my face with my Makeup Forever powder in number 123. Now I'm contouring my face with my Cover FX B35 powder with a flat foundation brush. I'm going to do underneath my cheekbones, my nose, and also my temples. For blush, I am using Dolly Mix by MAC with a small powder brush. I'm just going to do the apples of my cheeks and a little bit above where I contoured. For highlighting, I like to use NARS Albatross with a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in the middle of my forehead, along my nose, and also above my cheekbones. The lip combo I am using is Urban Decay's Lip Liner in Wicked, MAC's Lipstick in Pink Nuvu, and um, L'Oreal Infallible Lip Gloss in number 106 to create a natural pink nude that's appropriate for this look. Spray some of this oil control makeup setting spray to keep your makeup from budging all day. You are finally ready to start your journey to happiness and everlasting love.